show. Uh, it is a new podcast that me and my friend Jay are doing. What's up, Jay? Howdy. Um, we're going to try to do this every Wednesday. Uh, it is called Openly Hostile Opinions, and we're basically just going to talk about stuff that crazy people are doing in the world because the internet gives that to us every day to uh, show how crazy people are. Uh, <laughs> me and Jay have been friends for I don't know how long. Too damn long. Yeah, way too Decades. damn. Decades. Yeah. We finish each other's sentences and shit, and, uh... People are gonna think we're, uh, we're lovers, man. You gotta yeah. watch that. Yeah. Um, and we're here to make podcasts great again. How about that, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so after that, uh, we got some beer here. Let's try some of this, uh, hipster beer. Today we are drinking Harpoon Flannel Friday. Hoppy Malty Crisp Amber. Mm. Al Borland beer. I love this, uh... Remember, kids, you can't drink all day unless you start in the morning. That's true. It's, uh, it's around noonish, and we're going to start drinking because who cares? Oh, that ain't bad. I think your uh, beard grew a couple inches just drinking that. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just mad because you can't grow one. That's true. It's very true. Every time you get even uh, so much as stubble, all you got to do is slap milk on your face and let the cat <laughs> lick it off. Uh, that's true. That's true. All right, so... Uh, what do we got on the table today? What do you want to talk about? Well, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, you got to see this guy at the Bloomsburg Fair, which is our local huge county fair that everybody goes to. Somebody just got shut down for selling Nazi flags. Well, that's whatever. You know, great. it's not the nicest thing in the world to do to, to talk about Nazi memorabilia and shit like that, but I don't have a problem with that. But here's the biggest part they found out that the dude is a registered sex offender. Oh. Running a vendor stand in the middle of a fair populated by children. And uh, let me go ahead and show you a picture of this cutie. <laughs> Look at this guy. I mean, this guy says kid toucher all over the place. Holy shit. Where's the banjos? Here he is from his Megan's Law photo. Right there. Holy fuck, he looks like a rape rapist Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's kid touching Santa Claus. <laughs> oh my god. How did... Oh my god, did they ban him? Yeah, they uh, stopped him from selling his stuff. Uh, here's the funniest part, though. He had the Nazi flags right next to the Trump flags, which I just... You can't make that shit up. Jesus fucking Christ. That. <laughs> and, that's, and that's why people... Like, everyone's saying that you can't have a candidate. You can't have a candidate because people hate you for it. That's why. Because you have a Nazi flag next to a Trump flag. Right. Now, I, I didn't jump the conclusions here because the first thing everybody says, well, you can do something stupid like go pee behind a building a kid sees you can end up on that list. But this guy was charged in 2007 with having child pornography. He was convicted a year later for writing obscene or sexual materials. Now, I don't, want that, don't know whether that was to a child or not, but either way, dude's a creeper. So, <laughs> wait, read that again? What was that? He was charged in 2007 with having child pornography. He was okay. convicted a year later for writing obscene or sexual materials. So I don't know who wrote, to like, who. child porn Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> like, the, I don't know, but that's what I'm going to go with. Is there a demand for this material? Oh, there has to be, yeah. They're, they're You've probably. seen the internet. There's a demand <laughs> for everything. Wow, that's crazy. If you want to get a picture of uh, Jasmine fucking Jafar while riding Raja, there's porn for that. <laughs> Look at fucking Fifty Shades of Grey. That started out as Twilight fan fiction. Mm-hmm. And, and rather than, you know, make fun of these people until they go back to their basements like we should be doing, we made it into a major motion picture and uh, a best-selling book series. Uh, Don't even get me started on that shit. And the quality of writing, I haven't read this turd, but I've seen uh, I've never read snippets. It. Yeah. No, I, nope. You can polish a turd forever, but it doesn't always mean it's going to take a shine. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. What, what's the talk about Jewish? Oh, uh, the guy The guy just said something along the lines of, uh, uh, I'm not Jewish, but I can't imagine if I were what I'd think of that, is uh, what, what one lady said. Jesus. One of the people who were at the fair who saw it and uh, reported it. And see, like... Uh... Like, I, I saw something about, like, people complaining about it. And I remember being younger, and there was, like, Nazi stuff and stuff when you were younger. Well, yeah. Well, I, like, I get that. It's like, whatever, just walk by. Don't go to the stand if you're that much pissed off about it or you're a pussy. But now now he's a child sex offender. Okay, then I can see about that and get rid of him or right. whatever like that. But Dude, dra rape Santa. Come on. <laughs> no, he does. 
<laughs> he's rape Santa. Like, like, look at this beard. He probably pulls like roofies out of those, and like that's where he hides. <laughs> he and uh, he and Bill Cosby and hanging out together. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, that's great. So, what do you think of this beer so far? It's not bad. Very multi. Yeah, very like multi. Very hoppy. Like, I think it's funny. It's called flannel leather. That just goes with the uh, hipster stereotype. Hey, shut up. I've been wearing hip, uh, uh, flannel since before these hipsters were even a thing. <laughs> I know, and they were cheap, and now that the hipster's a thing, they're expensive now. Yeah, I used to go and pick <laughs> like four or five of them up for ten bucks. Nowadays, it's like twenty-five, thirty dollars for one. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, this I'm... does uh, remind me, though, of Al Borland from Home Improvement. It's <laughs> probably the beer he would drink. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, uh, Al Borland reminds me more of a uh, Sauvignon Blanc kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's true, yeah. Um... <laughs> So you wanted to talk a little bit about the debate yesterday? I didn't watch any of it. I have... Let's get a little background here, yeah. I guess. I don't really like politics. Uh, I don't like talking about them. Gotta get ready for this. <laughs> but um, me, me and Jay have been good, such good friends. We talk politics a lot, but we're not like angry at each other. We calmly talk about it like civilized people should. What, what would you consider yourself? More democratic? More... I, I'm... An independent. I'm a registered independent. I lean more liberal, but I'm not a liberal. Yeah. I'm also definitely not a conservative. Yeah. I'm just kind of right there in the middle where I think everybody should be. But as far as things have been going so far, everything is moving so far to the left and to the right. You can't even get votes anymore unless you're fucking batshit and insane. Yep. And I mean, unless you're cock punchingly nuts, nobody's going to stand up and listen to you anymore. I mean, the two closest people in the race in the Republican Party were Donald Trump and Ted fucking Cruz. <laughs> yeah, we wish uh, rape Santa probably would have had a <laughs> <laughs> free Nazi flags for everyone, free roofies. Here goes half our audience, but dude, rape Santa is definitely a Trump supporter. I know. Let's make T-shirts. Rape Santa. Rape Santa T-shirts. <laughs> rape Santa. Rape Santa for president, 2016. Stay tuned. <laughs> Um, so what, what happened with the debate last night? What went on? It was like a circus and we saw the two clowns. <laughs> I mean, the, the guy who, whose name escapes me at the moment, who was moderating the damn thing, was trying his best to keep control over the thing. But it just, it constantly devolved into, I don't like you. Well, I don't like you either. The whole damn thing. So a bunch of kids, basically. Yeah. Now you told me that, uh, what was their name? Flowers? Well, Jennifer Flowers. Jennifer, Donald Trump invited her there or something like that. Yeah. But I also heard that he did that because she invited someone. Well, she invited Mark Cuban, who's uh, a vocal Trump detractor, but that's not exactly out of the ordinary to do yeah, that. Yeah. It's a psychological advantage. But, dude. Like, I know it was Monica Walensky, but this Flowers girl, she Flowers was the first. first. She was the first. Oh, okay. God, how many did he bang in the Oval Office? He was the president. As many as he wanted. <laughs> did, did, do you remember Kennedy? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. So, so what happened then? What? It just got into it. It, it was all but name calling, pretty much. Nobody sat down there and started kicking and screaming, but it was pretty bad. I only got to see half of it because we were at work until the evening. Yeah. But when I got home, I got the other half of it, and it was just Hillary's trying to talk policy, and it's so well rehearsed, and you can tell this woman is petition. And then you've got Trump, who basically goes down to, I don't like you, kiss my ass, fuck yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> I only saw the beginning of it, and the way you said that about Hillary, that was the best way you could describe it, because she was like talking about kids and how they're her future, even mm -hmm. though she doesn't give fucking anything to them. She wants us to pay for them, but it's like, why don't you do something about it? And then she's like, well, today's my two-year-old grandson's birthday, or fucking some shit. And then she's like, so, every, so that reminded me of of the kids' futures today and stuff. I'm just like, get the fuck out of here. She was actually trying to hawk her book a couple of times. That was, <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. Oh, that's I, I don't think she took it seriously. I think she was just like, whatever, I'll try to sell books yeah. on this because I'm not going to get any kind of an interesting so, Hillary, I thought that would be Trump's thing, trying to sell stuff. Hillary's actually the one that sold stuff. She just mentioned her book in one, oh, of, the, one of the things. She said, uh, well, you didn't... He said something to the effect of, well, you didn't agree with this policy until I said something about it. She's like, I wrote it about it in my book, which you can buy in a bookstore <laughs> or the airport. Uh, a little Amazon for, thing. Flies yeah. Out, she's like, <laughs> a year before you said anything or something along those lines. And then, then Trump's saying that he didn't support the war in Iraq. And fact check comes out and says, yeah, you did. It's all yeah. over everything. And That's the thing with the internet now. You can't bullshit. 
you can't. Speaking of that, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, the other thing that Trump, Trump's campaign is starting to do now, uh, immediately after the debate, they started removing his tweets for things that he I said did he see didn't that, say. Actually, yeah, because pe- it was uh, a couple people caught it live getting deleted. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, yeah, he was deleting them and stuff like that. Yeah, I saw that on Twitter last night. Somebody was trying to delete the uh, his campaign manager's got to be. I mean, he seemed much more in control of himself than he normally does. I know he's been working on that, but uh, uh, I truly don't believe the man wants to be president. I think at this point, he just has to keep fighting to save face. Yeah, I, it's a joke. It's one of those, hey, I'm bored, hold my beer, watch this. Because <laughs> I remember like something about he was asking his best friend, how much does it cost to run for president or something? He's like, oh, 50 billion. It wasn't that, but you know what I mean. And he's like, oh, okay. So I think he's just fucking bored. Like he said, he's like, I'm rich, I have everything, I'm trying to help you guys out, but... Well, you got on one hand a a lying, typical politician, on the other hand you got an unstable ass clown, and I don't know which one you... I wouldn't be upset if I hit either one of them with my car. Yeah, like the one picture I... Don't come after me, I'm not saying I'm gonna... (laughs) And it's just like that one picture I seen. It shows the the donkey and the elephant. They're both shitting in the same pile, and it's like different uh, animals, same shit. Exactly. It's exactly it. And uh, it, it's there's no good option this year. It's you've got an insane madman who can't even take Twitter criticism with his finger on the button, and that's what scares the hell out of me. Yeah. And they both lie like cheap rugs, so it doesn't matter which one you pick. Mm-hmm. They're both going to be terrible. It's just one's probably going to get us nuked, and that's what I'm afraid of. So, given the choice between the two, we'll call this my Hillary endorsement, but it is begrudgingly. <laughs> and it's just, uh, then you got the email thing with Hillary, and then now Donald Trump's deleting Twitter feeds. <laughs> right. And the oh, tax man. return bullshit, and whatever. Uh, Let's move on from okay. this before we alienate our All right, entire audience. What do we got next here? Up next, I read this the other day, and I'm very curious about this. I think it's fake. I don't know if this could even happen. Teen dies from a heart attack, and penis falls off after masturbating 56 times in 24 hours on Valentine's Day. Dude, when I was like 15, that was Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, but it's just, he was from Portland, Oregon. His name was Jerome Carpenter. He said he was lonely on Valentine's Day, so he masturbated 56 times. First of all, why I think it's fake, it's like, how, how do they know he did it 56 times? I don't know, but by the time you're done with that, you'd be shooting blanks. Just a little flag comes out and goes bang. <laughs> I <don't, laughs> it's just, it's ridiculous. I just, I don't, like, what was he leaving tallies every time he finished? And his mom caught him and was like, oh, 56 times. That's must what that means. If you're going to be caught, at least have a record. <laughs> I know, it's true. But do you think it's possible to die from a heart attack and masturbating too much? Yeah, if you're like 70. How yeah. old is this kid, maybe? He 20? was or 19. 19. Yeah. yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, that that's a picture of him right there. <laughs> he looks uh, a little dehydrated. Probably from <laughs> masturbating himself into a hangover from all the fluids he lost. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, and, and the weird thing is, is like, I don't know if you can jerk your dick so hard it falls off. Well, you can, but it probably requires some force. Yeah. Jeez. Well, that was a good one. <laughs> I just, uh pretty funny I don't I don't really know uh, there and and then the thing is is when I googled to find this report again there's so many of them there's a bunch of them there's the one is 13 people who died from masturbating I don't know most of the time it's the religious religious right who will tell you this shit yeah oh there you go well 87 year old man have found naked hanging by his belt though that's what killed the singer from in excess what's that shit called uh, autoerotic asphyxiation. Oh man, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, there's a bunch of man um, electrocutes his penis. That's a thing, I guess. Perforates bowels with a dildo stuck in his ass. That's oh, that's good. Yeah, that's great. Uh, yeah, I'll have to try that. The electrocuting penis thing. That would be a good Saturday night thing. Man chokes to death on the zucchini during afternoon of about bout of autoeroticism. <laughs> Oh, oh man. man, man dies of a heart attack attempting to get a blowjob from a vacuum cleaner. If you're gonna do that, leave the shop vac at home. <laughs> I'm trying to clean my room. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, I just don't know if any of this is possible or not. Um, I'm sure if you have a heart condition, you can easily jerk yourself to death, but... Ugh, it's fucking ridiculous. Kinda. So, uh, yeah, 
Uh, what, what do you have next for us? All right, I want to talk about music. First off, uh, the Misfits reunion. I'm a giant Misfits fan. I was glad to hear it happen. I know it's completely about money, no matter what these ass clowns tell you. <laughs> it was to settle their stupid lawsuit so that they could both make money off merchandising. Because let's face facts, at this point, the Misfits are a brand. They are not a band. But, uh, you know, a Danzig god, uh, get this shit, in, in typical Danzig fashion... He said, if there's going to be another Misfits record, I'd probably have to write this stuff. And I've got a full plate, so I don't know. What the fuck does he have a full plate on? Growing a couple more inches? Watch it, pal. <laughs> Not all of us can be all tall and shit. Uh -huh. well, what the fuck? Does it say what he's doing? No, well, Why does he have a full plate? Does he have kids, a family, or anything? No. <laughs> he doesn't? He has bricks. <sighs> Jesus Did fuck. you hear that story? No. Uh, a long time ago, no. Nah super long, a few years ago, he, he lived in a house in California, and he had this pile of bricks in his yard, and uh, the guy who was telling this whole story lived in the neighborhood with him, and said that he uh, it lives in one of those houses that you wouldn't go to to trick-or-treat at Halloween, that kind of house. Rape Santa. Rape Santa's house, yes. Rape Santa and him were probably hanging out. Uh, so anyway, he has this pile of bricks in his yard, and I guess the homeowners association or the neighbors or whatever said, "Hey, Danzig, you know, could you pick, clean up your bricks or something here?" And it's and lowering property value. It was like, "Yeah." <laughs> well, in typical Danzig fashion, he gets up at like 3 a.m. and is like rolling bricks into a dumpster as hard as he can, and then screaming off the top of his lungs. Is. Of course he is. Here, I'm cleaning up your fucking bricks. <laughs> you know, in that New Jersey accent of his. So. He's fucking singing Mother while he's doing it because he hates her. And he's like, Mother! And he's fucking throwing the bricks. He's like, fucking hate my life. Yeah! yeah fucking bricks! <laughs> oh, man. What a fucking douche. I mean, we all get old. Uh, everybody makes fun of him for being old and fat, dude. If I was that old, I'm probably going to be fat yeah. and hairy and bald, yeah. too. But That's the way I'm getting. I'm just getting fat, sitting around electrocuting my penis every night. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you and Rape Santa hanging out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that dancing dancing said it's probably not going to happen. I'm kind of glad it's not going to happen because let's face facts: if they release another album, it's going to be terrible. Yeah, Danzig can't hardly sing anymore. Jerry's been about the money forever. The only one who still is cool is Doyle, and you know, if I was fucking the chick from uh, from uh, Arch Enemy, I'd be pretty cool too. He's fucking her. Yeah, the one with the blue hair. God damn. Go for it. Yeah. Well, why well, go go and try to take him. Take her from him. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Have you seen the man? No, that motherfucker's ripped. I yeah. Don't, I don't know if he's shooting shark testosterone his nuts like the singer from As I Lay Dying. <laughs> <laughs> As I Lay Dying. If you have not heard this, Tim, Lem Tim Lembesis, I believe oh, his name man. is. It's fucking hilarious. He, uh, he had steroid problems. And he got arrested and put in prison because he put a hit out on his wife. Uh, which he blames on the steroid used making his mind all crazy. I don't know. Either way, he did not get proper medical care from the prison to help him come down off the steroids properly. So he got himself a big old case of man titties. <laughs> I mean, I got them too, but I grew yeah, them with beer. Yeah, and I'm working on them, but I don't sue anyone for them. It's just my own fucking problem. Mine came from beer and cheeseburgers. Yeah. Too many fucking Slim Jims. Right, Exactly. But you've got to, if you get an opportunity, people, go out and find the report with uh, Tim's words on it. The, it writes like poetry. He describes at one point his physique being as that of a Greek god. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's so funny how he's still in jail, or he's in jail or whatever, and he still thinks he's writing lyrics. <laughs> he's like a Greek goddess, like... Oh, it's like, dude, you're not... Well, it is a goddess now. <laughs> yeah, like... At least from the waist up. <laughs> like, you're, you're not right now anymore. You were shooting whatever shark shit in your fucking balls or whatever, what he was doing. Now he's growing man tits, and so now he's suing them. Is it in court yet, or...? Um, they filed the motion. I don't know if it's gone further than that yet. Like, it's his fault that, you know, he tried to kill his wife. He fucking is doing this, and now he's suing the prison because he has man titties. I guess you can just fucking sue for anything these days, but whatever. Have you read the news? Of course you can. <laughs> no, I try not to watch the news. It's, it's, it's pretty funny, actually. If Jay knows me pretty well. He knows that I hate the news, and I just... I don't know. It's it's just... Oh, it gets me crazy. Like, like the, the, my, one of my favorite things is is a deadly car accident comes on, and 
they're just fucking showing it, and there's like blood and stuff, and they're like a horribly deadly car accident. And I'm like, really? Really? No, it was fucking rainbows and unicorns running around shit, throwing pixie dust everywhere. They just <laughs> they make every fucking thing oh, just bad. Just bad. Right. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it either. I don't like it. But on the uh, same subject with music here, too, now, as you all know, Brian Johnson had to retire from ACDC due to hearing loss. That's got to be pretty tough as a man who makes your living by being yeah. a singer. Hearing's pretty important to that. Um, but now, Phil Rudd ended up uh, doing those terroristic threats, threatening to kill one of his assistants, so he's out of the band. Oh, great. You got Cliff Williams, who said that he was retiring. He's out of the band. You got Malcolm Young, who's in an old folks' home with dementia, which might add has to be the most least rock and roll way to end up out of a band. Oh, We're left with Angus and Axl Rose, pretty much. And from what I understand... Uh, Angus is actually considering continuing ACDC with Axel and whoever the hell else he can find to fill in the gaps. I assume his nephew Stevie will continue playing guitar. But here's the deal. If you're going to do that, just go just go do a solo record. If yeah. you enjoy working with Axel and he feel you feel like he invigorates you, go let him be the singer. Go make your album. And you will still bring... Tons of people, even well, without the ACDC hey, name. Yeah, fuck yeah. Everybody knows who Angus Young is. Yeah. Everybody knows. You show up, he's going to be in the little uh, schoolboy uniform, dance around on yeah. the stage playing A chords. Yeah. That's what he does. Snorting coke off a of stripper's asses in the back, coming out fucking... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He fucking gets his little <laughs> fuck going. He's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, fuck yeah. I don't, I'm not a big ACDC fan, but I go fucking see him running around and shit like that, going fucking crazy. Yeah, no, and, and like, I thought the whole Axel thing was going to be a total train wreck, and I watched the videos on YouTube. It's not bad. Uh, he doesn't sound like Brian Johnson. He doesn't sound like Bon, of course not. Yeah. I would have preferred the dude from Crocus, because yeah. he sounds exactly like Bon Scott. I mean, you put the two next to each other, you'd have never heard the difference. But you, he, I would have liked, liked to have seen him, but Axel does a good job. It's like one of his favorite bands. He got the opportunity of a lifetime. More power to him, you know? That's fine, but don't call it ACDC. Yeah. Please, Angus, if you're watching this tiny little show somewhere from your gold-plated mansion <laughs> with, with your Filipino houseboy catering uh, to your every want and desire, please, please, Angus, don't call it ACDC. Let me have this. Let me have this. Yeah, it's fucking ruining childhoods. It's bullshit. What, um, the, you said the one guy, terroristic threats? Oh, yeah, Phil Rudd. He, uh, what he, who was it? His secretary, his assistant. He did this something thing? like that. What yeah. Did, what did he threaten to kill her for? Did she forget to put cream in his coffee or what? The fuck? He had a bit of a meth problem. Oh, okay. He was yeah. in New Zealand. That'll do it. He lives in New Zealand. Plus, he's, he's Australian. Australian. <laughs> yeah. Living in New Zealand, Australian. He has a bit of the uh, the hillbilly heroin problem going on. Oh, God, it's fucking crazy. Oh well, no, wait, that's oxycodone. <laughs> yeah. So you said there's only Angus left. That's it. Out of the originals, it's Angus. And Cliff wasn't original, but he was there from Bon Scott era, so... It's it's left with their nephew, Stevie. Mm. So at least they're keeping it in the family, I'll give you that. And uh, a drummer who's played with them in the past, and whose name escapes me, but it's not Phil Rudd. Yeah. Huh. That's pretty fucking interesting. Right. And then you got Metallica coming out with a new album. I've heard two of their songs so far. They had... Hardwired, which is a really good song, and then another one I just, it just came out yesterday, this is Tuesday today when we're recording this, uh, it just came out yesterday, it's called Moth to Flame, and it's different, it's thrashy, but here's the weirdness, they were let Rob Trujillo, they let him do um, harmonizing vocals with James, which is something you haven't really what heard that's before. What's that sound like? What's he, Hawaiian? Something like that? No, no, he's he's Mexican, I believe. No, I think. Or Hispanic of some kind. Really? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> anyway, uh, so he's actual actually doing real harmonizing vocals, and it's strange. Like they're up in the mix, huh. which took me back the first time I heard it. it took me back, but uh, it's it's growing on me. I listened to the song two or three times. It's not bad. If the rest of the album sounds like that. I'll be all right. They actually turned a bass up in the mix now too, since uh, <laughs> Jason's not there anymore. Yeah, they're like, they're like, hey, hey, uh, you've been here for a while now. I guess you can, uh, we'll, we'll turn you up a little bit. Well, Rob Trujillo is a, a fantastic bass player. You see people who know nothing online saying about, oh, oh they need to bring people Jason back. People know stuff online? I know. Are you kidding? In YouTube comments, 
<laughs> see the swill below. Oh, man. But Jason Newstead is a, is a good bass player, but, I mean, Rob Trujillo is a beast in, yeah. in bass. If you ever listen to Infectious Grooves, he is phenomenal. If they don't turn him up in the mix, it's a crime. Yeah. Huh. Of course, they still let uh, they let Lars play, so. <laughs> yeah, Danish. Mm, I wonder if he still plays tennis. Didn't he play tennis or some shit? I'm sure he does. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do since... Since he plays tennis, I'm going to make a brand of rackets called the Napsters. <laughs> Money. <laughs> <laughs> can uh, can one of the, the model numbers be Lars's receding hairline? Yeah, Jesus. Oh, man. I remember when that fucking happened. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? That was a huge deal. Did he, The guy that created Napster, he went to prison or something, did he? Did he no, 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 no. Oh, okay. I no, uh, they turned it into a legit company after a while. It didn't go anywhere, but they yeah. tried to basically make Spotify before Spotify happened. No. Yeah. It didn't work out. <laughs> but oh, I think Napster still exists in some form. Are you fucking like, kidding me? I think it does. Oh, my God. How, Nothing how ever old were we when that fucking happened? Teenagers. Oh, God. I remember that was back in the day, man, when uh, AOL was cool. I remember having no. AOL. Well. I, I, was, I was hot shit because I had AOL. You know, I had to wait for like 20 minutes to get online. You go in and it would have to keep redialing and redialing because yeah. all the, the, the lines first, The first dirty. dubstep music. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck noise it made. Yeah, and uh, you know, you'd go try to get log on, go make yourself a sandwich or something, come back 20 minutes later and maybe you'd be online. And you had to, had to go into chat rooms and people would be running these bots. And you would... Uh, in the AOL chat room, you would send a code to them and it would, uh, they'd send you back a list of all the MP3s they yeah. had. And then you would send back more code, and then you would download your MP3s, and it took you know half an hour for one song. Yeah, but I six K mode, man. Ugh, those Ugh. those were the old school days of yeah. piracy. Ugh. Nowadays you just get bit torn out, out yeah. and download everything you want. Now, I don't pirate anything anymore. When I was a sixteen year old kid and couldn't afford nothing, yeah. I used to pirate the hell out yeah. of music. I don't anymore because Google Play Music and Pandora yep. and yep. Spotify. Yep. I don't need to. I know. There's so much fucking shit. Piracy is not a problem of theft. It's a problem of having a service that can take care of it for you. Yeah. People want to pay for it. Like me. I pay $10, my 10 or $11, whatever it is, to Google Play Music every month. No complaints. and I, Because I can listen to anything I want to right yeah. now. Netflix has cut down <coughs> the piracy hugely. But not everything's on Netflix, so yeah. it still exists. But, you know, you can go and watch whatever you want. You can binge watch it. And uh, it, the ser- when the legal service gets better than what the pirates have to offer, nobody will pirate anymore. Exactly. And that's why, like, it's just... I don't even know how cable companies still make money with the internet. If you want to watch something, you can get your hands on it. That cable company is the one selling you the internet. That's how it works. Yeah, but, like, you got our friend Jason. He works for Dish. They have, like, antenna internet or something he says it's so bad that latency yeah they don't even really sell it they just just there if you can't get anything else and it's like i just like satellites and stuff like i just don't know how they're still in business anything you want to watch you can just get on there and just look it up well that's why comcast is out there trying to push these data caps uh yeah write your congress people (laughs) seriously write the fcc they children are starving fuck that don't mess with our internet. Exactly. <laughs> Don't mess with our internet. Write your internet. Congress people. You should not have data caps on internet. I mean, they're putting like 300 gig. Uh, they were putting 300 gig uh, caps on the internet, and then uh, I think they bumped it up to a terabyte. But even so, with the rise of 4K video, a terabyte, you'll blow through it like that yeah, once you start streaming 4K on Netflix. But of course, if you use a computer, you can't put the 4K on your TV because DRM, and now you got me onto a tangent. <laughs> You deserve better, people. <laughs> you deserve better. Yeah. If you are a paying customer, there is no reason why you shouldn't be able to go right now to, down to Best Buy and buy yourself a video card that's capable of displaying 4K on your television. But because the people who make this shit are so paranoid that you're going to steal their content, you can't go right now and buy a video card that can uh, put 4K on your television. You can do it on a monitor. But you can't do it on a television out of the HDMI port. Why? Because of DRM. Fucking DRM only exists to take something that you've already paid for and make it suck in some way or another. <laughs> what? Oh man, that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. 
it's like games where they're always on bullshit. Like, mm-hmm. I can deal with Steam. I get Steam. That's okay. It's one service. It's with their one little DRM thing. It calls home once in a while. That's annoying, but it's all right. But remember back there when you, uh, Ubisoft, Ubisoft, UBI, mm-hmm. uh, Soft had their, their DRM that just... If you weren't online 24-7, you couldn't play your game and shit like that. People, you deserve better. Don't buy it. <laughs> I don't care if it's the latest and greatest game coming out the next day that you have to have. Don't buy it. Vote with your wallet. That's true. Yeah. That's what a lot of people are doing. Uh, they're just not buying stuff. If they and that's well, not, enough, not enough people are doing that. Nah. That's the problem. And you know what? Don't even pirate it. Don't do it at all. Nah. Show them that nah. you, you cannot treat us this way. We as customers deserve better. Mm-hmm. Because you deserve better. Yeah. That's like, uh, just like, use an example. Uh, the food thing lately. Organics, all that shit's getting crazy popular and stuff like that. Well, food companies weren't really listening. So people just stop buying shit food that comes in fucking, you know. Start home. Yeah. Yeah. And stuff, so the company start listening. Now you go in the grocery store, there's no just tuna helper. There's light tuna helper. There's salt free tuna helper. There's fucking reduced salt. It's like. Exactly. And because people just fucking stop. That's how you do it. Just stop with your, just stop them with your wallet. Just it, stop. If you stop buying it, they will find a way to make money off of it. They want to make money. You want to make money. Or uh, pay less money. Uh-huh. You want to get what you paid for. It's that simple. I mean, there's no reason why you should have to jump through 15 hoops. There's no reason why. Uh, in fact, there's an audio mixer software. I can't think of what it is off the top of my head. A DAW, D-A-W, uh, that you have to take a USB dongle doohickey and plug it into your computer so that you can uh, authenticate that you are the rightful owner of this software to prevent piracy. <laughs> I fucking hate that shit. Now, you don't think I'm going to lose that? <laughs> <coughs> the whole... Fucking protect you from this boy. Like I just had a Windows 10 update the other day. It took like a fucking hour, and right after it was done, it was like, "Thank you for waiting." Said some bullshit about, "Oh, sorry or fucking for taking this long. We just want to make sure that you're protected. It's for your privacy and all this bullshit." And I'm like, "What? Like, did you fucking like inject my computer full of like computer aids or something?" Like. Something goofy with the video card drivers made it shitty for me to play certain games. So I put Windows 10 on so I could play the games better. And I got an update that I can't turn off because I have Windows 10. You can't turn them off. And it completely eradicated my entire setup. So now I have to spend pretty much all yeah, of tomorrow fixing it. they put fucking it. aids in your computer. They're just like, hey, we're going to fuck all this shit up. Just, it's ridiculous. I need a computer condom. <laughs> Where's the computer <laughs> condom? Yeah, fucking Christ. Just, ugh, it's ridiculous. I, and, and that's the thing, I have a problem with that with like graphic cards and shit. Your graphics card will be running fine, and it's like, new update, and you're like, ooh, piece of candy. So you fucking download the thing, and then just nothing works anymore. So you gotta reinstall the old drivers, and it's just... Uh, well, lucky you, you run Windows, I have uh, Linux, so when I get a new driver update, everything breaks. It's fucking ridiculous. I don't like it. I'll tell you what, though, <laughs> I'm, going back, I'm going back to Linux, I had enough of the Windows 10 bullshit mm-hmm. after it borked my PC. The problem is, it's my GameCube emulator, uh, Dolphin. I have a GameCube emulator, oh, that's Dolphin, right, yeah, yeah. and uh, it runs really poorly on Linux for some reason. On with my particular video card, uh, I'm probably just going to update the video card. And uh, I have a solid state drive coming today that I got for a, a review unit. Thank, thank you, <laughs> thank you, buy win. Uh, I have a review unit coming in. I'm going to try and put it on there and see if it runs any better. I don't mm-hmm. know. You have a solid state drive. I oh, love it. <laughs> oh, if I can, I know they're expensive, and I hear a lot of people say, "I just don't have the money." Fucking sell your body, like <laughs> sell the insides of you. I don't care. It is fucking worth every fucking penny. I have my first solid state hard drive. I never seen one before. I remember I told you I was like, "It's the size of a fucking credit card." Like it's it's insane. It's. It's oh my god! How long does it take your computer oh, to boot? Oh, flashes! <laughs> <laughs> How long does it take your computer to boot? Uh, like 
10 seconds maybe tops. It's it's so, I, I walk in, I turn on my computer, I sit down, everything's just quick, loading screens, like, oh, it's, oh. <laughs> do, you need to, do you need to take a minute to clean up? I need up. another beer, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think Casey needs a minute to clean up. Oh man, yeah, where's the paper towels at? Oh shit, I'm out. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I just the not... toilet doesn't work. Yeah, these are the conditions we work in, folks. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just anyone, I just recommend getting an SSD. They are so fucking amazing. It's worth every penny. Um, I'm pretty sure you said the only thing that really is bad about them is they don't really last that long because they're. I you know what. That's the deal. They do have a finite read-write life, but mm-hmm. I was doing some research on them. Uh, it appears that they can actually handle almost as long as a traditional hard drive. They're, a traditional spinning platter hard drive can be read, uh, written, rewritten to pretty much indefinitely, but the hardware itself doesn't last. So, yeah, six of one, half dozen of the other, pretty much. Uh, hey, that actually brings me to my next topic. Uh, speaking of which... So the Google uh, Google self-driving car uh, got into another accident again. Oh, really? Uh, here's the deal, though. Not once has the Google self-driving car been the car's fault. Every time it's been somebody else, I believe. What do you think about the self-driving <laughs> car thing? I knew it was coming. Uh, I think it's Mercedes-Benz said by like 2020-something they're going to start produ- producing them or whatever like that. I knew it was coming. I don't know. Uh, it's funny. Uh, we work. We both work in a restaurant. His mother actually owns it, and we were talking about this the other day because the one guy was talking about how he can drink and drive and get away with it. Well, we were like, well, if you're driving a self-driving car, if it's it driving sense, it for you. Yeah, uh, drunk. If you're sitting in the passenger, is it still drinking and drive? That is a well. I think I think the human, the laws are going to take a while to catch up oh, to the yeah. technology. Oh yeah, it's going to have to change because you're still in control of the car because you have to you can take it. You can take control yeah. of that vehicle at any time. Let's say you're like passed out and you're fucking like, your dick's in your hand because you were masturbating because you were thinking of your old girlfriend or something. <laughs> and, and you fucking... We need to talk after <laughs> yeah. the show. Yeah. And you're just fucking <laughs> drooling and fucking, yeah, and your car stops for some reason. Say you forgot to get gas because you're a piece of shit and a cop pulls you over. The car was driving itself, but you're drunk. Is it, do you think it would still be a DUI? Because you you did program the car. I believe so. As, maybe you're still. I believe as long as you have access to a steering wheel, it's always going to be your responsibility. But there true. will be a time when you don't. There's mm-hmm. going to be a time when the autonomous car is to the point where you sit down. There's no controls in front of you. You just yeah. tell it where you want to go, and it goes. Then, the laws are going to have to catch up to yeah. the technology. At that point, you can be drunk as hell, and it's not your fault. You didn't do nothing except for tell it where to go. But here's the question that I want to bring up about this. When you're talking about the self-driving cars, here's a scenario. You're going on a backcountry road somewhere, and there's a school bus, and for whatever reason, something starts skidding. The car either has to sacrifice you... Or it runs into the car, or the school bus taking out 15 children. <laughs> the little kid's right with his little fucking gremlin's lunchbox. He's like, Bob, you fucking just slide, knock all the kids out. What's yeah, that car going to do? That car is going to be programmed to, to waste your ass. Yeah, that's Are you cool. okay with that? They, they made a movie about that. I, Robot, remember? Yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah Will Smith is like, you fucking piece of shit. Bro. And that's the thing. We're... <laughs> We're gonna start having racism for robots or something. Like everyone's like, Whoa. you know what? Fuck them robots, <laughs> yeah. man. Man, they don't fuck. They have no feelings and shit like that. But that, but that is true. They don't know what it's like. Yeah, they just taking our jobs. Man, our jobs. <laughs> but I, I don't know. That's a tough one. And that's the thing. I don't, I don't trust them. I would never drive a self-driving car. The the brakes and shit, like the Fords, I think started doing it. Where if you're gonna crash, the brakes just locked up. I believe there's going to be a that's point weird. where you're not going to have weird. an option anymore. Yeah, that's I think they're yeah. going to bring it to the point where that's it. That's yeah. all there is. They're either going yeah. to litigate it to be that way and take the human element out of it. But he, like I said, we'll go back to that same scenario. When you get to the point where the car has to either waste your ass or waste the ass of 15 kids, we all like to think that we're going to be the, uh, the good people to say, yeah. all right, take me off the cliff. Yeah. But 
how do you really feel about that? Now, I know I, I have children. Take me off a cliff. I couldn't imagine some other parent having to go with their, their child not being able to grow up. But for somebody else, I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to put my hand, all uh, that much control, into Google. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm okay with selling my personal data to Google for a service. <laughs> I'm not one of these privacy-minded douchebags who, who will not let anybody see anything. I mean, I do block ads. I do, mm-hmm. do that sort of thing to provide some modicum of uh, security. But I don't mind selling my personal information to Google as long as they're providing me something I want back. I'm not that kind of guy. But I don't know if I want them to be controlled of driving me off of a cliff. Exactly, yeah. And, and that's the thing. As so happy as America is, you know, the families are going to be all fucking crazy and shit. And we'll, which they should. You know, your fucking car killed, you know, someone. Which I don't even think should happen. Like, I say this all the time. Has anyone seen the Terminator movies? Technology is not supposed oh, to Google, be this good. Google is Skynet, man. I know. There's no doubt about it. I know. They're Skynet. They're, they're the Umbrella Corporation. They're fucking... They're, dude. And it's just like... like Facebook's the Umbrella Corporation. Yeah. Did you ever see those fucking dogs that they're making that know when they're spalling? It's creepy. Like, I have nightmares about them. It's like fucking... Then the rape Santa comes in. He's like... <laughs> he's riding one, like... Like, wailing a uh, fucking lasso and shit. But... They're like, they, they know when they're slipping, like they were walking one on ice, it started to fall so it caught itself and it knew it was, and now, that, that's not bad enough, they're strapping Gatling guns to them, and <laughs> shit, like. Well, that took a serious turn. I know, has anyone seen the Terminator movies? They, oh man, I just. Well, you know what, though? I'm just, I'm scared, man. I'm you scared. Hear, you hear about these situations with people, uh, like the, the terrorist cells, ISIS, etc., etc., uh. They take in robots, detonate shit. Uh, I don't want to put people's lives at risk, you know. They, I don't, they, so it's good to have that. With anything, anything, it's just being responsible. But there's always too much power that gets involved. People have control of things they shouldn't. Like Donald Trump hitting the button for our nuclear weapons. That's a little <laughs> weird. But, uh, yeah, like robots are good in some ways. Like uh, that one shooter in Dallas or whatever. It was the first guy I think they said they've ever taken, they took out. Uh, a criminal, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, with a robot. Was I, that in Dallas or whatever? The sniper. Yeah. It was I, the first time ever they took him out with a robot. That's good. I, but I hear people, I get people's points, the ones that are screaming about it. I get their point where they say, that man was executed with no just cause, no due process. I get that. But you know what? If a cop had stormed in there with uh, you pointing a gun at his ass, guess what? Your ass would still be dead. <laughs> exactly. So it's, I don't, and, and you're putting more lives at risk and shit like that. And and I can see that. I can see that. You can distrust your government, and that's fine. But still, they need to like stop somebody who's shooting people at Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, you've got to put a stop to that, and whatever means necessary to do that, as long as it doesn't kill other people in the process. Like if they took down the whole building and it was populated, that'd be a different story. But it wasn't. They sent in one thing. They detonated it. I think that was a proper use of justice. Yeah. It didn't have the due process, but like I said, if a cop had stormed in there, the SWAT team went in, you're still dead. And and that's the thing, where does it stop? Everything gets out of control, it seems, once, once you know, it gets around or everything like that. But, like the, like the Google car, like who, someone hit that? Someone hit it, yeah, a van the, plowed into the side of it. <laughs> where? So they're testing these on public streets. They have a special permit uh, with Mountain View, California, to do... Tests on the roads. Yeah, because I knew they had or whatever, and they even I forget what that fucking sh- movie is. This was like Owen Wilson or something, but uh, the the interns or something it's called, and they show one of the Google cars <laughs> driving by or whatever like that. So I knew they. Were I think cool. I think that was what the fuck. Oh, that was one of your speakers. Oops. I think that was one of the uh, one of the map cars, though. I don't know if it was one of the. Autonomous vehicles. No, because I remember, because they were making fun of how old they were, and they were like watch salesmen or some fucking bullshit like that. So they were like new to the internet thing because they were all old, and they're, they're, uh, the car was driving by, and they were like waving to it. They're like, hi, and they looked, and there was no one in it, and they're like, uh, okay. That was, I don't know, I think it was called the interns or some shit. I don't know, I don't remember it. I've had too much beer. <laughs> I don't know, this stuff, this stuff is pretty thick, I'll tell you what. Like, I felt like I uh, had to cut it with a fork and knife. This is, uh, this is 5.7 percent alcohol. Wait, how I, much? 5.7. That's it for a micro brew. That's like low. They're usually like fucking gasoline. <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> somewhere. I don't know. I 
since I've cut down drinking severely, I can like sniff a Heineken and get a buzz yeah, anymore. Uh, so that's that's the way I am. It's like I drink that Miller sixty four shit. It's just the mineral hell. water. Yeah, mineral water. Well, let's uh, we have one more topic to talk about then. Um, so this is interesting. I'm gonna bring up feminism. <laughs> Bye to the other half of our audience. Yeah. It's been a nice yeah. ride. See you guys. All right. If I, there's two kinds of feminism. There's the good kind, equality. All of, that's that's good. But then there's this fucking armpit hair, fucking shaved head, neo Nazi. I don't even know what the fuck to call. I don't even know what to call. But there's this article I read, and I play a lot of video games. I play World of Warcraft. I love that fucking shit. Yeah, whatever. That's because you long for the uh, embrace of a woman's touch. Yes, yes, exactly. I have no kids. Please, me. please stay with us, feminists. <laughs> yeah. He's an asshole. No, like I said, no. There's good feminists. There's good feminists, and and and, and true feminists know that. But you have people like this, and I read this the other day. Um, this girl thinks all men are rapists. Of course she does, and. Um, <laughs> She thinks the reason why people, men, play video games is because it suppresses their urge to rape. So, the reason guys play video games all the time is because it is stimulating enough and holds a lot of cognitive attention to distract men from rape urges. It takes the thrill away for a while so they can control their testosterone and urge to rape. (laughs) Hashtag feminism. (laughs) Hashtag rape. Hashtag misogyny. Hashtag, ta- hashtag patriarchy. I just... How about hashtag fucking retarded? Yeah, I know. It's just... I don't... Like... And, and that's what I'm saying. This this is what gives good feminism a bad name. Ladies, you deserve equal pay for equal work. Yeah. Ladies, you deserve to be treated as equal people. You deserve voting rights, of course. You deserve to make the same living that a man in a similar position makes, and you deserve the same opportunities to advance as men. What you don't deserve is to be fucking stupid. Yes. <laughs> it's it's and, and it's like, it's just funny. Like, I don't know where to get this from, though. Like, I just don't understand. Like, does an angel come down? Like, a feminist angel? And they're like, here, spread this bullshit around. I don't know, but that <laughs> angel probably smells like patchouli. <laughs> yeah, I know. She's like, oh, man, my girls are horrible. Smell like garden dirt. But, but but that's what I mean. Like this is the bad feminism that makes everything look bad and stuff. Like we need uh, a better bottle opener. This yeah, is bullshit. Yeah. It, it looks cool, but it doesn't look <laughs> <for> shit. <laughs> but um, yeah, and and like uh, other things, like that one girl, I, I think it was last year or something. She wrote a book. Um, I think she said she went to college for feminine. I don't even know if you could fucking do that. But she wrote a book saying about how they need to kill ninety percent of men. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not joking. This is a serious book. They need to kill 90% of men and keep about 10% of them around and use them. I think she used the word worker bees, like drones. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And just and just to do stuff like that. It's ugh. Uh, okay, fair enough. But you know, on the other hand, though, let, let, just to provide some perspective here, while you do have insane, fucking, stupid people who get caught up in a cause. And say re- just ridiculous crap like that. I mean, keep in mind that's no different than the Westboro Baptist Church representing yeah. Christians. And, and it's, it's a shame. Uh, I believe it. I believe in in, in Christ. Does that yeah. does that mean that I'm going to sit here and protest funerals and say God hates fags? Yeah. No. Uh, it's a very very vocal minority. And excuse me and that's the problem where it is here on like Tumblr and all these places where you see this crap is it's a very vocal minority yeah the vast majority of people look at these people and roll their eyes but they don't say anything about it and the Baptist Church is a good thing because there's a lot of good you know Christians out there but I do see some hate on Christians because of that because of the Baptist Church Westboro Baptist Church regular Baptists are fine hallelujah (laughs) <laughs> but, no, I'm just saying these people are fucking nuts. Yeah. It's one family, pretty much, and a couple offshoots of them. Mm-hmm. And then, if you've ever watched that show, Escaping Polygamy, if you've never gotten a chance no, to, it's never. great. It's on A&E. Uh, it, it's a, a Mormon sect of polygamists, and they're just freaking insanity. Yeah. But you know, they're all Christians, so mm-hmm. people get this bad idea. Yeah. Or you get the ones that, that sit there and, and Bible thump. You know everything that they say. Oh, you should listen to heavy metal music. It's worshiping the devil. Yeah. You're all gonna burn in hell. Minecraft. I know the West Baptist Church was going about Minecraft because there was like zombies in it. And they're like, the devil made this game. 
<laughs> Don't read YouTube comments, <laughs> folks. It's, it's fucking ridiculous, but... And, and that's the thing. Like, we were talking about this the other day. Like, um, you, you were saying... We were talking about liberals. And you were like, Casey, you talk about liberals like it's a bad word. And I was, like, thinking. I was like, yeah, I do. And it's it's my own fault because I let it get that way. I, I hear the word liberal and it's... Because this, this young... Or not young, but small vo- vocal minority ruins it for me. Liberal... The word liberal shouldn't be a bad thing. The Nor word, should conservative. Yeah. The, yeah, exactly. The word feminism shouldn't be a bad thing. Uh, Christianity should be a bad thing. It's just it, yeah, Islam. It's, Muslims. Muslims. Yep. Muslims are peace-loving people. They they believe in ninety percent uh, mm-hmm. of the same doctrine as I do as yeah. a Christian. Yeah. However, there's a very vocal minority of them that yeah. do dumb shit yeah. like blow us up. <laughs> exactly. And it's not Muslims that are a problem. It's extremists. Uh-huh. And anything you do, it's just like the political debate this morning. Yeah. Left and right, extremists. You can't go to an extreme and not be an idiot. Yeah. Everything is in the middle. Everything is gray. Nothing is black. Nothing is white. There's yeah. There's just too much extreme, and it, and it sucks that these words are getting you know tainted by this stuff. Like I've, I've in my whole you know years of life, I've never used liberal as a bad word. But until you said that, I was like, yeah, I do, and. It, it never used to be a bad word, but now the word conservative, the word liberal is a bad word, feminism is a bad word, um, and it's just a shame, like, no one, because I, I think our political views are sort of completely opposite. <laughs> yeah. We agree on a lot of things. Somewhat. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I, I'm the kind of person that hates government. Fuck them. Get the fuck out. You, yeah, you're not a conservative, you're an anarchist. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, I, I think there should be, but I think there should be control over at least, you know, w- what's going on and stuff like that. Uh, you, you have a little bit more faith in government, I think. Is that is that I believe it? that a lot of times finding proper regulation is, is the solution to a lot of issues mm-hmm. because most times when it comes to the uh, private sector... Mm-hmm. I don't believe the private sector usually will solve problems because they're acting in their own self-interest. Yeah. Unfortunately, oh. government also acts in its yeah. own self-interest. And that's the thing. Where do you find the middle ground in all that shit? That's the problem. Yeah. Like, like I, I think you have a little bit more faith in government than I do. I fucking... I believe that we are... I'm so, a conspiracy theorist, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But. I believe that we are supposedly the richest, most powerful country in the world. That's what everybody says. Blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. But we can't afford to give our citizens health care. Canada can. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of some of the European countries can. Yeah, and, and okay, can, and, can we find a way to make this work? <laughs> and that's the thing. Like we print our own money, and we we still can't. You but, know. but everybody says, "Oh, well, we'll raise our taxes." But you know what? If a child doesn't die because they got the flu, I'm okay with paying a little bit more. Then, money. I'm just saying. Yeah, and I, that's, that's. I'm okay with giving. I I am not. Well, to do mm-hmm. by any stretch of the imagination. I'm a working class blue collar dude. Yep. But if some child can eat because I paid a little bit more out of my paycheck, I'm okay with that. Yeah. That's where I look at it. I mean, if we have all this money to spend on military spending, et cetera, et cetera, and I'm not saying we shouldn't because we got to protect ourselves. Mm-hmm. A lot of people that hate us, and most of them have a reason. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we can take a little bit and spend it on taking care of our people. Basic health care, basic uh, uh, checkups, preventative care, there's no reason that shouldn't be covered. But it's not. And that's my problem. That's why I'm a liberal. <laughs> but Yeah, because you believe in social programs and stuff like that. And Well, it's just like that, that, that meme that was going around on the internet. Enjoy your socialist uh, pl- snowplow. But that's you know, the thing. We've, we've had socialist stuff in America for how Socialism long? is Socialism. not a bad word. Yeah. It's just corrupted is a bad word. Yeah, you get to. It's like any government. I believe that any government, after a long period of time, becomes corrupt. It's just the way it works. Sure. And that's why I think we're very confused right now. We're, what, not even a 300-year-old country. Um, we're not that old of a country. Uh, right. There's many countries that have been around for how long? They've been through constant, completely different governments and stuff like that. It's happening to us right now, and it's just, you know, it's, I don't know what the fucking thing is, like, the solution is, but, like, stuff like that, I, you know, the checkup thing, like, the regular checkup, you should do stuff for, just start small, it, you don't have to pay for, you know, fucking Timmy over there fucking flew off a cliff, hit a house with his four-wheeler and killed, like, himself or something like that, you don't have to pay for that, but, 
it, Preventative stick, care. Yeah, stick the popsicle stick down the kid's throat. Don't charge him five million dollars. Like, do like let's start with that. That's that's exactly <laughs> what we need to do. Uh, we need to get rid of uh, pre-existing conditions clauses and in, in insurance company uh, agreements. I mean, you shouldn't be able to be denied insurance because, especially through work or something like that, because you had a pre-existing condition. Well, what the hell would you need insurance for if you weren't <laughs> capable of getting sick? Yeah. Well, I think we better wrap it up, Casey. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions podcast. I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, I'm Jay. This is Casey. And we'll have more beer and more stories for you next week. Yes. Uh, we're going to be doing this every Wednesday and stuff like that. Um, you can follow us on Twitter. Um, we're going to post all that stuff in the information. Um, Down below. Yep. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much. See you later.